Hello everybody, Anthony is here. Today I'll talk to you about how you can save a lot of time on proxy meshing and I'll just talk about in general on proxy meshes inside 3D code. So if you don't know, 3D code doesn't have a subdivision type of levels like every other software has got, like Maya, Blender, 3ds Max, ZBrush. So you cannot go from small to high and save your subdivision layers. So it's actually got a completely different philosophy. It goes from top to bottom. So when you turn a mesh into a proxy mesh, it creates a low-level copy of that mesh, and then it reverts back to it. However, I found that the proxy mesh was extremely slow until I found a great solution to that. And that's not to use the decimation method for proximation, but to use the proximation called reduce <clears throat> density. So decimation is more accurate, but reducing density is much, much faster. This is extremely important because this particular icon that turns this stuff into a proxy mesh is freaking annoying. It's really easy to pick on. And I've had instances where I would click on a mesh and I would start to go and decimate uh, from 16 million triangles down to, I don't know, 1 million. And that takes forever. I'm just, I've am just i just changed the decimation mode from reduction to decimation and I click to turn it to proxy mode. And you'll see how slow it is. So I don't really know why they say it's really cool videos that how decimation is better than reduction because the amount I mean you cannot seriously wait for this amount of time for it to get decimated but the thing is that most 3d code users don't know that you can use another option like reduction most most users they they if they know about proxy mesh they turn it uh, they turn on the you know they click on this particular icon they go into decimation mode and then they look at it and they stay for 20 seconds at this screen and they think oh god i don't want to use 3d code again ever so you kind of have to really go and change the proxy method to reduction and i've got this proxy slider right here it's a pretty cool thing so it allows you to jump between levels relatively fast again it's not something that you can find you can, you can find it yourself, it just takes some time. You have to go into pop-ups and go into the... Oh no, you have to go into sliders. I oh, know pop-ups, I'm just trying to find it. It doesn't go by... Oh yeah, there's a one. A proxy slider, right? So we have it here. And then you can put it here. And if you deal a lot with uh, sculpting inside 3 really cool. this is a slider you have to use. It's really important. I think personally it should have been there already. You don't have it. Uh, it'll be a really limited amount of users. So 3D code users who will go and watch this video in particular and actually get this proxy slider and remember how to use it and find out how to use it. Right. All right. So just change the proxy slider to two and then let's go back. The thing about reduction method and why it's not used instead of decimation is that if you have a really thin mesh, it starts to create you some type of bugs that I'll show you right now. So I've got this particular piece. It's pretty low in density, it's like 73,000. And let's click, let's change again proxy method to reduce. And well, let's reduce it down to eight times. So we can see that it becomes just a blob. And if you start sculpting uh, using some kind of stuff like play let's, and let's build up to something a bit more aggressive. You can see you get a whole bunch of artifacts, so really be aware of uh, this reduction method can create this stuff. Decimation build retain the model uh, as it is, so it's better in that particular case. But in my opinion, the amount of time you have to wait for the decimation, the decimation method to go through is unacceptable. So just uh, remember the difference that if you are like an advanced 3D code user, you, you kind of need to know this stuff. You need to know the difference and you need to use the reduction 
just even in case if you're using 3D code for concept reasons, for design reasons, for quick blockouts, just so if you by accident, by accident click on this particular icon that turns the mesh to proxy mesh, you do not have to wait for why forever. You can wait for one or two minutes sometimes if by accident, when you turn it on by accident. I wish uh, 3D Code had uh, you know traditional subdivision levels like ZBrush got, so we could go from you know level one to level three, and that would have been a really cool and advanced feature where I could choose from going from top down or down to top, you know, in terms in terms of the subdivisions. Uh, maybe one day they will implement it, maybe not. Who knows? And yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to say to you today. Right, I've almost forgotten to mention that I used a model from 3D Scan store that I cut out the hand from this guy. I presented it in my video. I always try to uh, to talk about my references and what I use in to create my stuff. All right, so let's uh, see you next time.